Okay, so for this uh, video, I'm just going to go over how to use uh, vPainter, uh, which is a really awesome plugin for the Unity. Um, this is a plugin that allows you to uh, basically ver uh, paint on the vertices of your model, and uh, it's a great way of doing texture blending for um, for various mo uh, for for your models to do stuff like uh, you know uh, roads that have different uh, textures uh, on them instead of just uh, one texture. Uh, so, anyways, uh, getting started, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a material uh, from the V Painter. So, go to Material, Create, and call it a uh, new texture blend. So, so uh, with V Painter, you, you can have like a, a, te a shader that has like up to I think five texture blends. So, um, for for this test, uh, we're just gonna do three. So, let's just call it Vertex Three Blend. And then go to the shader and choose for V Paint. And so uh, there's there's several options you have to choose from. Uh, you want to go to the lit one and then go to blended three textures. Um, for this tutorial, I'll just use the ones uh, without pump maps, just for sake of simplicity. So uh, so now that we've set that up, we need to assign uh, actual textures to each of these. Uh, channels. So go to my textures here and I have some road textures that I use. So let's just throw in road A, road B, road C. So these are just three different road textures that I'll, I'll be using to paint my road. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to create a V paint group. Uh, actually wait, one thing I forgot to do is click on your model and then you need to assign the material to that yeah that's that's important so just put that in there okay so now this road has that material assigned but uh, currently you, it's just it's blank because uh, we didn't assign any of the vertex paints so this is where we actually use vPainter to actually paint the vertex uh, channels so you click on the, the mesh and then you go to uh, vPaint under game object and then create vPaint group so now it's going to pop up with the vPainter uh, dialog box and this is where you actually do the painting so uh, first of all I don't want to like individually paint all of it uh, just to start so what I'll do is I'll just do a flood fill so the first thing you need to do is you need to select the channel that you want to flood fill so going back to the the shader that we set up uh, so there's three channels here now the first one I think that one is the R channel like red and then the second one is the G channel green and this one is the blue I th I'm pretty sure that's how it works so so basically when you set your color to R or I mean, to the red and then you go flood fill it will fill it with the first texture there you go so uh, for me since the road I wanted to use was uh, like the one uh, the texture that I want to use the, for the majority of the road is actually that one I'll actually just use the the B channel so go, go into blue so uh, just, you can either just click on the blue or type it in. So you notice uh, you can choose like any color, right? I mean, like you can just choose a yellow. What happens when you flood fill it with the yellow is uh, it actually kind of combines the red and the the green into. You know what? I, I never actually do that, though, so don't bother. To, <laughs> I don't know. I never really go in between. So I, I'm either, I'm either just using full blue, full, uh, full green, or full red. So. Uh, I suggest you do the same or you, you'll get some pretty ugly results uh, so anyways uh, so we just filled it with the blue and uh, the texture that I wanted to start off with and then now we can go about painting uh, the different uh, uh, vertices so suppose you want to use the red channel and just sort of paint uh, that area with uh, with uh, the dirt texture that I assigned to the red channel uh, you just go uh, make sure you set to red and then just go ahead and paint yeah, uh, just use the left mouse button and paint it. Uh, you can adjust the radius here, uh, like that, like so. And then it just, it just, yeah. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, fall off. Um, fall off is like. So if you notice, there, there's two circles on my cursor here. The middle one is actually the the actual effect area, and the larger circle represents the fall off. So. Uh, this is good for situations where you want, like, you know, kind of like a softer fall off where the middle is the strongest and the outer region is kind of soft, you know. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the fall off. Um, opacity, self-explanatory, 
blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you know, a, a good way of setting these things up is uh, I like to just um, save preset colors here, so I don't constantly have to like use this color picker. So to do a save preset, you just uh, like you'll notice I, I have one saved up here already. Just click on the color and then just uh, just yeah, just choose the color you want. So make sure it's 255 and then boom and then this one is red and that one's 255 and then blue and so yeah if you want to switch between the three channels just uh, click on the little box down there so yeah so if you want to use the green one uh, why isn't it showing up what the fuck um okay there we go so yeah there we go so uh, so that's the green channel and then uh, you notice uh, it just appears as you paint it and uh, it's a really great plugin a great way to just add you know variety to your texture because otherwise my road would have just been like this repetitive you know, bland crap. But uh, yeah, Ver Vertex Painter is a great tool, and uh, as I said, you can go up to five uh, texture blends, and um, uh, yeah, and it's super, super. Uh, uh, and also, yeah, you can do uh, um, uh, bump mapping as well. So uh, let's see what the bump maps look like. So yeah, you can have like bump map textures with specular on them as well. Uh, I haven't tested the bump map one on mobile, but I, I currently use the the diffuse one, the the non bump map ones on my 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 Google Nexus 5 and it runs it runs super fast. I mean, there's no, I don't notice any slowdown whatsoever. So um, so yeah, your mileage may vary depending on your device. But uh, it's uh, I've tested uh, uh, some of the shaders on mobile and uh, it's no problem whatsoever. So so yeah, that that pretty much covers the uh, pretty much everything you need to know about V Paint uh, on how to paint the texture blends. Um, I think. Um, yeah, I think let's see what else do I need to. Yeah, okay, so sometimes, like, okay, so to get back to the VPaint thingy, uh, the dialog box, you just usually you just click on that and just open VPaint. And then, like, sometimes it'll say, hey, it's disabled, but it's just, you just, if you click on it, if you click on your object again, then click on it again, and then it, boom, it pops up. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why it, you have to do that kind of weird dance there, but, um, yeah, that's, that's how you get the dialog box back up. Um, uh, so, like, what else, other tools do you need to talk about here? Um, yeah, I don't know. That that's pretty much covers it. Oh, right. Uh, there's a third, one, uh, fourth one called Alpha. So, like, uh, you notice that I only use the R, G, and B channels. But uh, if you have a four texture blend, you'll need to use the Alpha channel. So, uh, so to set up the Alpha channel, it, what it basically you just go zero, 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 and then uh, full, full on Alpha, and then you'll be and then when you select the alpha one then you'll be painting it but but you'll notice I don't have an alpha channel set up here so it's just painting white you know. I don't know how to set up the fifth channel for for the te five texture blends I don't know what the heck that maybe yeah I don't know I'm not gonna get into that but you know you can twiddle around with it I mean I'm sure it's not too complicated to set up but um anyways that's how you do a four texture blend in V painter and have fun Check out the uh, the plugins on the asset store right now, and uh, I, I highly recommend it. It's great. It's it's fast. Works on mobile, and uh, yeah, does what it does. So yeah, have fun.